All right, I want your guys' <laughs> thoughts on this tweet. Moses NYC mm. is currently in a heated mm. debate about the top three worst places in NYC. My answers are Columbus Circle, Whole Foods, Union Pool, and Grand Army Plaza, Brooklyn. I am countered with the 86th Street 456 Station, the Port Authority Bus Terminal, and the New York Aquarium. This person has never been anywhere in New York. This is sad. <laughs> never. Did he just move here? Are you talking about the top three worst places? If you can... That's not, that's not, that's not even top 100. If you can have a Whole Foods as the worst place in New York, you live in a very privileged what? New York, my friend. Because everyone knows the three... Have you ever been to Delancey McDonald's? The three worst places <laughs> in New York would probably be the... Uh, let me see. Uh... uh bro the Arby's on, f on 7th <laughs> or on 8th? Broadway <laughs> Junction <laughs> Station. The, uh, that tunnel between the F train and the 123 train on 14th Street. The mm. And the third is going to be Port Authority. It's that simple. It's those, those are the... Port Authority? Yeah, Port Authority is always up there. Yeah, Port Authority is the gates but, to hell. Like, Delancey... Del yeah, Delancey McDonald's is, like, in the Hall of Fame. Well, they, like, if you don't know about that... Like, they redid it now. Now it looks you, like... You must be new Now that. it looks like a sexy uh, Starbucks now. Uh, it's very... Sexy opium day. Yeah, man. <laughs> He said Union Union Pool is a uh, Union Pool is a cool place to go to, you know, if you want to have a bad time and drink with people who are terrible. Yeah. So you got that. Yeah, yeah, great. And I don't even know. I, I've I can honestly say I've never been to Grand Army Plaza. I don't even know. Like what? that sounds like. Yeah, is that an army base? I don't even know what that is. That's a very Brooklyn uh, destination. If you're not from Brooklyn, you have yeah. you have absolutely no reason to ever step no foot to go there. in Grand Army Plaza. Bye. The Brooklyn Library. Oh, okay. That that gives us a reason. Oh to go yeah. There. Like. You know, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, there's a there's a branch right. I mean, there's also one in the Bronx, but you know. I, you know. Grand Army Plaza is definitely a location that, as a non Brooklyn resident, you probably have to pass if the trains are being con on, under construction and you have to take like a shuttle bus and you're like, where the fuck am I? Like, I've never heard of this where place. Is that? Do you guys call it? Do you guys call it Gap for short? Do the cool kids in Brooklyn be like, "Yo, meet me at Gap"? Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Let's meet at Gap, bro. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, meet me yeah. at Banana Republic. It was. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, maybe. Speaking of Gap. Gap. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision, and building our future. I am running for president of the United States, 2020 vision. Also, I got a lot coming out with Gap and some new music. That's not hitting right now, so I'm going to tweet this. Kanye doing a lot right now. Kanye needs to just sit down and chill. Like, you're running for president. Yeah. You're making clothes. You're selling sneakers. Yeah. Like, relax, Kanye. We don't need all that. Also, he can't... Did he actually apply to... Did he actually apply for running for president? Because kind of, you can't just no. tweet and be like, yo, I'm president. I'm running for president. Like, no. this paperwork is like He probably thinks it's like class president and shit. Like, you could just write him in. Like, 80 million people are going to write in. Yo, Kanye West. I want Kanye West to be president. And... The, and Boop. All the people that want Kanye West to be president have on Yeezys right now, and they're like 16. They're like, <laughs> Yo, and they're they're bro. arguing with me and my mentions about you don't know how great Kanye West is, and they found out about Kanye three years ago. So, Th yeah, literally. And then Elon Musk, Elon Musk comes through with the alley -oop. Hey, you have my, f you have my full support. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, that's not the support you want. Like who? I'm like yeah, I need I need that Elon cosign because you know that's always, yeah, that's always good. He's like, Yo, you know what I'm saying? Put him on my cabinet with Grimes right. and baby Yaglab Laufler. Yeah, and little Azalea Banks singing. Like, no, this is all bad. This is all bad. Like, this is actually so bad. This, this is going to make people vote for Trump because this is like, yo, like, you seen his sneakers? Yeah, what's going all right, on? All right, we're not going in that direction. No. <laughs> but what we would. Trump has sensible shoes. At, Kanye could be president, though, because remember when he used to tweet? His tweets were like Trump's tweets, they were like weird and. All over the place. Yeah, and just, like, very cryptic and, like, yeah, like, like, huh. How do you interpret this? Remember there's one about uh, being on a plane and he hates when they give him a little bottle of water because now he's responsible for taking care of this little bottle of water and he didn't ask for that? And I was like, <laughs> thinking, he's thinking. That's deep. Yo. <laughs> Who should his running I just mate remember? be? Kanye West's oh, running mate should uh, be. Uh, mm. uh Who's uh, Kid Cudi? No, not Cudi. Who? Who's uh, running mate should be? Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Who would be? Hmm. You know what? It's not anyone we would think it would be. So he's probably gonna get. Yeah. One of those. It'll be somebody mad random. One of those um from the from Boston. Those uh robotic dogs that are hunting people. Yeah. It'd be that. And he'd be like, "Yo, robots are the future, y'all." And we'd be like, "Yo, maybe he's right. Yo. I don't know. He's Kanye." Or like some guy that plays like fucking Yo Yo Ma. Like some, you know what I mean? Like some to totally random left field person. What if he gets Kim K as his uh, running mate? Keep it in the house. 
That would be bad. No, it's first. You can't have the first VP slash first lady. You can't have the first lady just posting while OD on IG, just like puckered lips, like hey. Yo. Mm, yeah, it looks good. Come, yeah, I love this tea. You guys should buy it. Coming to you live from it's the FDA G seven. Ah. But didn't Melania do that? Like, Melania used to model. Yeah, but well, I mean, that was, like, in the 80s, and, like, it was different. Like, that was back if you were a sushi boy, you wanted to see some titties, you had to walk to a newsstand <laughs> and ask someone to give you yeah. a printed <laughs> photograph of titties. It wasn't, like, yeah. there was no Google, like, show me titties. Yeah, you had to have, like, audacity yeah. to, to watch porn back in the porn? day. Like, you had to go into it and, like, pick it up and be like, I am purchasing pornography. Now you could just do it, like, quietly yeah. in incognito mode. You had to put work in. You had to go into... Sometimes you had to go into a store made specifically for porn and be surrounded by yep. other other nasty people yep. who spent all day yep. at work like, yo, before I get on the L-I-R-R, I'm going to stop <laughs> and look at some Pinot. <laughs> and then the set... There was one... <laughs> back when I worked in the, when I worked and we had the, when I was working in Pino, sometimes we'd have to check out what the competition had and you'd go in the store and see what was on like the shelves and shit. One store I always went to was located over by Port Authority. But because they cared about their customers, they had an entrance inside the subway. So as you were coming out the subway, Ooh. you can just sneak in there and no one saw that you were OD Sucio boy. <laughs> now the problem is yeah. now you're inside the Pino store. And if you've ever been inside a Pino store, it is a weird experiment about male fragility and how, how other people view you. So if you were in a section yeah. looking at something mad weird and someone else is standing there, you're not going to go to them and be like, excuse me, you just stand over here until they move and then you shift over. There's like a, there's boundaries, yeah. respect. There's, it's weird. And then every now and then you'll get a guy that talks to you. You get a guy that talks to you and like they start talking to you about Pino and it's like, I, I don't know you, bro. Like, this is not... This is not what we're here to do. It's not a group project. This is not what we're here to do. Okay. We get in and out. This is not motherfucking uh, stop and shop, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not here talking about, like, the ripeness of the mangoes. You feel me? Like, you get your sucio uh, energy off, and I'm going to do me, and we're just going to go part ways. We're not going to interact. And you get your copy, and you try not to make eye contact with the clerk, or unless you're really sucio, then you know him by name. You're like, hey, Gary. And then he wraps your DVD or your VHS tape in a brown... <laughs> and a black plastic bag. In a brown <laughs> paper bag and in a black bag. And then you just get on the chain. No one knows that you're Susio. So Do you pay, do you pay cash? <laughs> so you don't... Is there you know a what? on your credit card? Oh, you have to. It, some people pay cash. And some people have no problem just putting it... Don't care. Putting it on their regular... <laughs> their regular shared joint account credit card. So... Like, swipe! But it doesn't come up as an individual purchase. It just comes up as the ven wherever you locate you bought it at. So it says like something electronic, something. It doesn't say, "Hey, thanks for buying Big Wet Butt sixty seven in four K." <laughs> yeah. Like that would cause problems. The, the fucked up shit is that like a lot of those places are are named like you know, ex exotic depot yeah. or like mm -hmm. Rome. You know what I mean? Like they have like sexy names. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just be like, "Yo," uh, it doesn't just say like Target. You know what I mean? And then, but it's like Exotic Depot, but when the charge comes up with your credit card, it says something like, Stanley Bornak, LOC. And you're like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> now you're on the phone with your, your credit card. You're like, I don't I don't remember the well, charge. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember the charge. <laughs> what is this? They were like, um, were you near 42nd Street at 450? You're like, click. Nope. Yeah, nope. you dirty mother. Yeah, yeah you little sushi out. Yeah. Like, um, um, I was at Arby's. What you, I, I was buying meats. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. You was buying meat, I. Right? <laughs> Yo, what'd you cut? Was it good? <laughs> And then also, the sometimes the porn stores, they would have um, promo material, like big posters, calendars, um, beer cozies. And I'm like, Wait, where exactly are you putting a pornographic Who? poster? Who? Like, if you if you have, if your life is set up <laughs> that you could put a pornographic poster on your wall, you're living a life, my guy. You are living a <laughs> very <laughs> different life than the rest of us. Very. <laughs> do auto body shops still do that? Like, with the nude calendars, right? I feel like that's like a, that's like a... Like an old stereotype. I feel like they used to. No, some places still have them. Some places, but not like open to the public, but way back where the workers are at. Like, the, And then it's weird because it's like porn magazines with grease on them. Because, you know, you got greasy hands. So. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. It's like fucking, it's, it's the calendar, but like from 1987. You know, sometimes, you know, after, I'm like, Yo, this <laughs> sometimes after you change the oil, you got to, you know, change some more oil, if you know what I'm saying. Change you know? the oil. <laughs> Get a little jiffy lube, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know? <laughs> crack open, crack open that dicky suit, boss. You know? <laughs> All right. Do you want to do some sports goss real sports quick? Goss. Oh, sports shit. goss. Oh, shit. Sports goss. Bam. Damn. Yes! Yo, Pat Mahomes got that pay, dude. Listen. 
10 year, half a milli. Shout out to him. And like 100, by the way, the important part about this is that 140 something million of it is guaranteed. So like he could go stick his foot in a pothole tonight <laughs> mm-hmm. and still get 140 million dollars. On purpose? On purpose. Doesn't matter. He gets hurt. Guaranteed contract. million dollars is yours. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I wonder if there's going to make Eric Andre wow. come back into his life and tell him that he's really his father. Because <laughs> shit is right there. Damn, 503 million extension. And people on Twitter was like, that's not enough. Um, excuse you? What? <laughs> what? Like, and then people were like, uh, I mean, people were like, you know, the actual, this, it actually is not that good because he's going to get paid less in the final years. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. You know, after the first 100 mil, I think you're all right. That's that's a hot I think that's I'll a hot okay. take, but when I'm eating my food through a straw and I'm getting a hundred million dollars a year, <laughs> I'll be all right. What if he gets to like year ten and he does the math and they owe him three mil? You think he'd be mad? They're like, yo, he's, <laughs> he's like five oh two. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's happening here? Also, five oh three sounds like wild random. Why not just five or five oh five? Yeah, round down or up, bro. This is bothering me. Five hundred three. Weird. What is it after is taxes? Do you think after taxes, this is about one hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Because we come on. This this check is not going out to Patrick Mahomes. It's going to like fucking P Homie LLC. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's like the name like, of it. P Homie. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like there's ways. <laughs> Damn, Patrick Mahomes. Also, uh, they seem to really. Football's coming back sometime soon. So, shout out to them. <laughs> yo, yo that's why I'm like, yo, that 140 mil is going to sit nice, bro, when you're just chilling at home playing Madden. Sheesh. All right. <laughs> What's the first thing you buy with this check? With $140 million? Ooh. Mm, the first thing you buy? Ooh. The, the, the entire block? And just kick everybody out? <laughs> Be like, all right, this is Merrill Street now. What's the first thing I buy? You know what? I'd probably, probably like go shopping and buy brand name food. No more generic shit. Just get like the actual craft uh, mac and cheese. So, oh wow, no crash deal. You know, you're too good for white rose. Yeah, we don't even got that. We got straight Western beef uh, <laughs> mac and cheese. <laughs> she got Bronx names. It's like yo, bro- yo mac and cheese. You're and I'm like, not everything in the Bronx has to have your or chopped cheese. Like, come, come on, we'll move man. past that. Damn, five hundred three million. Chopped cheese flavored cereal. Five hundred three. Yeah, but ha- that's that's more than half a billion. What is uh for those? <laughs> but he already has some cash though, so. He got paid. He got paid. But you know what it is? I think he was on like his. I might be wrong, but he. I think he was on his rookie deal, which is shitty when you come in. So like th- this is like his payday now. Like now he's like, I right, I could chill now. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I'm good now. Cause like those first couple of years are very risky. You know what I'm saying? You could fuck around and tear some shit, and then it's quiet. Yeah. That's the whack shit about football. Like you could you could be super great, and then like you know, oh shit, yeah, I broke my foot. Yo, beat it. 